That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Guide. Piano guides to guide. Yep. Not the real thing. Yeah. Well, it depends. It depends how good it Let's is. Let's record it properly, just in case. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, I think that's always wise. Okay. I'm going to try my hardest, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll try and use some nice microphones and things yeah, okay. as well in that case. Um, Let's go and well, see what would be good is if you could just play us a bit of what sort of piano part it is yep. to give us an idea of what sort of thing we might want to do. So it's all around the middle area, isn't it, really? So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm well, I think we just go for a normal sort of what I'd probably do is have a, an XY pier over here, yeah, and maybe a third mic somewhere at the back, maybe a point over one of the holes or something to okay. fill in the middle a bit. Um, fill in nice the middle. Just sort of Sometimes it'd be a bit too wide. Yeah, I, 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 I don't go miles up there, and there might be a okay, yeah, yeah. middle eight. It's a little Thank bit more. Do you think we can take the music desk out, Mike? Is that, yeah. that come out? Easily? Yeah, you know when you've got 19, Mike. <laughs> Always make sure you tighten all the knobs up properly, because you don't want it drooping. In the Olympics, so it's Oh, sort of in the middle ish of what Nigel was playing earlier. Yes, it's kind of really great. It would be interesting to hear it, wouldn't it? So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, it depends. It's a good idea to listen to the part that you're going to record before you mic up the piano because sometimes people are just playing right up the sub or sometimes they're playing just down the bottom. So, uh, you kind of want to try and centre the stereo so you're getting a good bit of what they're doing without being offset too much. So, um, and the, the third mic kind of just fills in the hole a little bit sometimes. Sometimes pianos are too wide. I often find when I'm mixing pianos, you're sort of um, narrowing the stereo because they're just taking up so much of the space. So, so it's quite nice having a middle mic. Um, I mean, I might have, I might blend it in and record all three onto a, a stereo track, but it's, if we've got the luxury of sticking it on a separate track, we can always play with it later. And, and sometimes the phase is a bit, you know, sort of indistinct. You're never quite sure which way which way around. You want the phase of the third mic. So. Uh, Something you might want to fiddle with later, <laughs> yeah. rather than spending ages worrying about it. It's always good to get it right if you can at the time, of course. Um, but you know, you might sort of find that you might want to move the distance of it to improve the phase. But uh, you can always lark around later these days with your little labs IBP or just flipping it. So um, we'll see how it sounds. What's going on here now? <laughs> well, once I've played a bit of piano, yeah. I'm going to just use my head. Would you like him to play now? To, yeah, to find a nice yeah. sort of If you wouldn't mind, Nigel. Of course not. Um, oh, is this the actual song? Uh, no, uh, yeah. Important thing, always, point, yeah. always play the actual song. That's always a top Same with drummers. Yeah. You know, you set up the sound and then they get brushes out.
So the first thing we've done is record the entire song piano part with Nigel uh, with lots and lots of microphones uh, to a click track. Um, that, that's just in case we keep the piano as not a guide and it becomes part yeah, of the real thing. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got. Um, so I've done my usual sort of three close mics: uh, an XY pair near the hammers and one at the back over the hole um, for a bit of extra body. And uh, Neil has very kindly brought along some yeah. MS stuff. For so the yeah, I did an MS pair not too far away from the piano, so you don't get too too big a massive phase difference between the close mics and the distant mics. And I just feel that it gives you some options where you get a less direct sound which kind of I know, sounds a bit pretentious, can make it sound a bit more mournful or a bit more, um, I guess that's the right word for it, uh, sadder. Uh, you know, rather than, you, you know, over the, 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 the hammers, you, you get very percussive sound mm. and you get a slightly more classical sound from this, which, you know, just gives you more flavors and you can do a blend. Um, George was watching the, the phase between the close and the distance. Uh, to make sure that they weren't um, creating problems and sometimes you do find that is the case and just doing a straight phase flip doesn't work and you just have to go in and physically move the thing backwards or forwards in order to get a, a tighter lock between the close <coughs> mics and the, the distance which sounds sounds kind of nice yeah um, sounds good yeah. We've, we've been quite extravagant so we've got you know one two three four one, two, three, four, five, six, six tracks of piano. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's really five, there. but it's very easy to do a quick decode at the same yeah. time. Yeah, and yeah, it just, yeah. you know, rather than play around with auxes and Absolutely. MS matrices and God knows Indeed. what else. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what next? What, uh, I guide vocals. So Always a good plan at an early stage so to get know, a guide vocal on. So we know what Definitely. Going. Then we can find out if it's going the right speed and in the right key. Yeah and how it all goes and what other stuff might fit around it. You wait for a sound check, you wait for the bus, you wait for the gig to start. You waited for the microphone to be gained. And then you have to suddenly make some art. <laughs>